these are blades that I uh, struck off uh, one core and I converted into end scrapers and I reduced the core into uh, the size. So there's still some portion of the core from where I can strike uh, more blades uh, if I so desired. Here, I have uh, refitted two of the flakes onto uh, the uh, scars on here. One is uh, just a natural flake, which could be used as is, and the other one I've converted into a nice end scraper. There's much more usable material in here, uh, but uh, at the base here and on the side, we're getting to some very uh, awful uh, coarse uh, chert. The uh, platforms on the, uh, if you're using swan over chert, it's a very fra fragile material. The platforms have to be very heavily ground or else they'll collapse. The platform collapsed, but I do have a uh, nice blade-like flake. <laughs> and I can continue the process until I have exhausted the core. I'll just remo remove this uh, uh, overhang and I'll see if I can uh, strike off at least one or two more flakes. This is a very, quite a, uh, a very efficient way of uh, maximizing the edge lengths of uh, your raw material. More efficient than striking off uh, big uh, percussion flakes. It has its uh, problems. If you don't have the proper material, the, uh, See, that's the problem with Swan River Church, as opposed to, uh, say, Georgetown. I'll try and strike a blade off here. It'll uh, probably uh, end up in here because it, there is a depression in here. But what it'll do is uh, create a ridge uh, where I can strike a blade from next time. wrong it's changed much earlier than my what I'll do is uh, try and remove that hinge no it's not going oh, there's my it's too <laughs> yeah, for uh, my purpose it is just too big, but uh, uh, the um, blade could be converted into uh, tools or even a point. There is enough thickness and enough uh, like uh, straightness, so you can make a projectile point from it. 